Hello, let's talk about linear regression and in particular about least squares method. Let's assume we have two parameters here. X is the amount of time that a student spends revising for my course and Y is the grade the students achieve in that course. So we have some samples and some points here. You can see that we can pass a line to these points. First of all, never, please never, connect these points with a straight line. Okay, They're not playing connect the dots. This would be wrong. Instead, what we want is a straight line passing through our data and describing this uh, phenomenon. So, we need two numbers to describe our line. The first is the slope. What's the slope of this line? And the second thing we need is the intercept. At which point does this line intercept the y-axis? Let's call our slope a1 and the intercept a0. In which case the line we're trying to find is given by the equation y equals a1 times x plus a0. So now we need to find the values for a1 and a0. Uh, let's assume that these are the data that we have. We have x so it was the number of hours studied by the students and y the grade that each student got and i is just an index for every student one two three four five so the this line will not necessarily pass through every point that we have so this is just a model y okay so the least square method says that we choose this line, we choose this red line, such that the summation of the squares of the distances from each point to the model is least. So for each of these points, we take the distance from the point to the value the model, we square it, we add all these distances and we want this summation to be as small as possible. So this means that the summation from i equals 1 up to n points we have of the yi real minus the yi of the model and this difference squared is as small as possible. So this means that the summation of yi minus a0 minus a 1 times x i squared is minimum and of course for this to be minimum it means that the derivative of this quantity over initially a 0 is 0 and then the derivative of this quantity over a 1 is 0 so we can call this quantity, this summation of squares that we want to minimize, we can call it SR. First we take the, deriv the derivative of SR over A0 and have this quantity here, I want to be 0. Then we take the derivative of SR over A1 and I want this to be 0. If we continue uh, with a few more calculations, we can find that a1 is given 
by this rule over here, where n is the number of points, summation xi times yi is the summation of uh, the multiplication of each y with each x. This is sum the summation of x, the summation of y, and summation of x squared. So first we square the x's, then we add them together, and here we first sum all the x's, and then we square this summation. And a0, the intercept of this line, is given by the rule y average minus a1, which was calculated right above, times x average. So these two equations are what we're going to use to find this model passing through our points. So to find A1, I need this summation of xi, yi. This means that we need to add another column to our data where we multiply each xi by yi. So in this case, we have 6.5 times 50, and then 8 times 85 this equals 325, this equals 680, uh, 9 times 87 equals 783, and so on. And also, I need to add another column, which is the summation of xi squared. So, I need to get each xi and square it. So here we have 6.5 to the power of 2, which equals to 42.25. And then we have 8 squared, which is 64. 9 squared equals 81, and so on, and so on. In the last row, we add the summation because it will help us add all these columns. After filling in all this table, we can now calculate the slope of our uh, line. A1 equals n is the number of the population, 5, times summation x times y i, this is 3612, okay. minus summation of x, 43, multiplied by summation of y, 409, over n, 5 again, multiplied by summation x i square, so 377.5 minus summation of x 43 squared. So if we do the math, we get that a1 equal 12.29. Now we need to find the intercept a0. So a0 equals, we need the y average and the x average. Of course, we know that y average is going to be the summation of yi over the population of uh, students we have, n. So that equals 409 divided by 5 equals 81.8. .8. And x average is going to be the summation of xi over n, in this case 43 divided by 5, that equals 8.6. So we now know that the average student studied for 8.6 hours and got 81.8% .8 in the 
test. So a0 now equals my average 81.8 minus a1. We just calculated 12.29 multiplied by x average, which is 8.6. And of course, this gives us minus 23.86. So now we, we can write our line y equals 12.29x and plus a0 in this case is minus 23.86 so now we have a nice model to describe the grade of the student y as a function of how many hours the student studied x we can use this formula to interpolate so find values between six and a half and 10 or extrapolate which means find values of the grade outside of this range of six and a half and 10. One more thing we would like to check about this line is how good it is. How good does it fit the data we had to begin with? So for this we use the correlation coefficient which is calculated by by this rule r is equal uh, the denominator looks exactly like the terms we had in a1 so we have n summation xi yi minus summation xi times summation yi okay? and the denominator is a little bit different so it's this quantity we have in the denominator for a1 under square root so we have square root of n summation xi square minus summation xi squared the only difference is that we add another square root next to it so we multiply by the square root of the same terms but for y so we have n summation y i squared minus summation y i and all this squared so this means that we need one more column to our data which is going to be the y i squared which is just every value from here squared so here we have 50 squared which equals 2500 85 squared equals 7225 and after finding all the values on this table and their summation on the last row we can calculate the correlation coefficient r which is going to be n is 5 times xi summation of xi yi uh, 3612 minus summation x 43 times summation y 409 divided by square root of 5 multiplied by xi square which is 377.5 minus summation xi 43 squared close the root open new root multiply by 5 summation of yi squared so 3 4 7 8 3 
minus summation y squared, so 409 squared, and we close this root, and the correlation coefficient r equals to 0 0.94. So if the correlation coefficient is 0, it means there is no correlation between the the line we found and the data, so very bad correlation. The values range from minus 1 up to 1, in which cases the correlation coefficient is greatly matching our data.